Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of SM PDX3 Amplified Edition. And as you can see, last episode I was talking about this build. I have now got this build completely and utterly entirely done. So let me let me jump off the edge and fly. We'll turn around and fly back and you can see that it's done. It is a lovely build that I designed on Creative Ages ago. Oh gosh, Ranger's not having a good day. I'll probably see if I need to help him at all in a bit. But yeah, this build, as you can see, is very, very nice. The path goes all the way around it now, and we're just blocks, we're two blocks away from the border. Jeez. Anyway, this build currently is empty. So in today's episode, I am going to call it Interiors, Interiors, Interiors. Because this interior needs doing, and another interior that needs doing is this tower. Because this tower's interior is by no means done at all. So we're going to do this tower's interior as sort of a library. We're going to have books on all the floors. And we're going to finish these books up here because these need doing. But in order to do that, we need books. So I think to start this episode off right, we are going to start by doing a book collection montage. Be right back with that. Really do like I'm the Glob Glob Gambler. I love books. I am the Glob Glob Gambler. Okay, so now that that stupidness is out the way, and I've got all the books, um, this isn't actually all the books at all, I've placed all of them already, all the ones I needed, up here in the tower, the tower's interior is now finished, and I know, it's extremely, extremely simple, but we got this floor, which has got a nice carpet and some books on it, and then we got this floor, which is just entirely books, and then a torch, the next floor's open, and then the top floor is now finished with books, except I need to get some dark oak slabs to put around the bottom so it doesn't look stupid. Uh, but apart from that, that is this build now done. I'm glad to say the interior is done. All I wanted to do was put some bookshelves in it. Uh, so now the book <laughs> montage is out of the way. And that whole thing's done and dusted, but I hope you enjoyed that anyway. Um, we are going to now work on... The interior of the other build. I still don't know what's going to go in there. It's going to be some sort of farm, I believe. But I don't know. I'm going to work it out and then I'm going to come back to you, tell you what we're going to do, and then I'm going to do it. So I will see you back when I have decided what should probably go in there. Okay, so guys, we have a plan. We have a plan of action, a plan of attack, a planny plan, a plan. And also, look, I'm a dobster again. I changed my skin back from my Lord of the Rings ones. Finally, I found it again. And, oh god, I need to go back. But yeah, I've got my big mouth back. I'm now in line with my channel avatar again. Hooray, hurrah, tooray, tooray. Anyway, yes, the plan of attack is we are going to convert this thing here, this big, lovely build, into a barn. We are going to have in here, on this side here, this big open side here, you know, you know this side, this one, this is where we are going to have a nano farm, and now, no, we're not going to be farming nano. Uh, that would be in the end in an enderman farm that we farm nano. We are actually going to be farming wheat, carrots, potatoes, and beetroot. And that is going to be done with a little dispenser tingy madoodle over here. I'm sure you've seen the type before on my channel. I do them pretty much every series in different builds and stuff. So that's that plan. That's going to be cool. And then over this side, we're going to have a spiral staircase up there that's going to go into the top of the barn, which is going to be a bit of storage, a bit of interior. Over here, we're going to have, like, some hay bales and stuff stored. Probably going to end up blocking off this little area here and just making a tiny interior in this bit. But, yeah, that's sort of the plan. We're going to have rafters going across. It's going to be two stories. And, yeah, it should be really cool. I've got a really good vision in mind for this. So I'm going to keep up to you guys up to date with sort of regular updates of what's going on in here. Uh, so I'm probably going to start with uh, this side, this one over here, this side, and make the nano farm and decorate that. And of course, since we've got a skeleton, auto skeleton farm and skeleton grinders and all sorts of skeleton farms, we're going to have no shortage of bone meal for this farm. So I'm going to stock up double chests full of bone meal. 
and that'll mean we should never run out so whenever I need wheat just come in here click 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 got loads of stuff sorted done amazing and then we're going to have hay bales over here for show. I'll probably keep my horse in here if and when I get one. You'll never be able to get out though because horses can't fit, fit through doors. But yeah, that is the plan. That is definitely the plan. I've just been in a voice call with Nano and Ranger. And I believe Ranger intends to star SMPDX episodes. Which is going to be amazing. He's got some really cool stuff going on down here. And I can't wait to see if he does actually do videos. See how that uh, goes. And Nano's most recent SMPDX video, oh my gosh, it's probably the best SMPDX video I have ever seen. He did such a good job. He did psychedelic trip outs on my rail. He built the hat shop. He There was a cameo from me in there in his time lapse. All sorts of stuff. It was just an amazing, amazing video. You guys should definitely check that out if you haven't already. It was just incredible. So are all the other SMPDXs. Of course, there is a link to the other SMPDXs down below. But as for now... I'm going to get on with doing the interior for this bit, starting with this side, this one over here. Hello everyone, I'm back and we have, well, I have done the bottom floor interior, nearly done. We just got to collect a few resources to finish that up. The bottom floor is looking pretty nice. It is done and dusted as I said it would be. So over this side, this side, this one over here, we have got the nano farm and you just flick the lever. We need to hoe that and it automatically dispenses bone meal onto it which is pretty nice and then these two doors are to access the farm and bone meal chests you know the drill and we actually had an accident from up above a creeper dropped down and blew this whole wall out on the nano farm so i built this twice but yeah so that's what's there that's where we'll get all the wheat and stuff and then over here this is going to be like a hay bale thing i'm going to store hay bales there and just like that's what that bit is it's hay bale storage and then i'm probably just going to stack like crafting tables and just make it look barney in here like really barney in here and up here we've got obviously uh the upper floor which has not got anything in it yet but there will be stuff up here i'm just going to do that after i've done the bottom floor completely but uh one thing we do need to do is obviously hoe that ground and we need to get bone meal put in those double chests and we need a lot of bone meal so uh let's pack up our inventory into the respectful chests uh what else do we need i'll put these fish up in the fish chest because i've got loads of fish that i don't need uh what else can we put away we can put away cobble walls we can put away grass and dirt redstone a glass pane Apart from that, we'll keep hold of everything else. Uh, and these bones obviously go in the bone chest. Now, I'm going to leave these bones in here just because I don't need to take those bones. But the amount of bones I need to create three double chests full of bone meal. So I need two shulker boxes worth. So we're going to fly over now to the uh, mob farm and pick up that many bones. I'm going to fly gently over spawn town because it looks nice we'll fly fly on past loon's boat take a good look at that because wow loon did a good job with that boat iron farm say hello to the dying iron golems and fly all the way over to the mob farm and come into land or at least attempt to come into land because i died on this when i landed on it last time good so bones okay they're full Take those two, put our two back, and we will also fill up our inventory of bones as well. And there we are. Now we just need to fly on back. So that was easy. That's just a nice quick pickup from the from the farm, the uh, mob farm. Got loads of cool stuff. Fluffs online. He's doing some grinding. I believe he's down at the tree farm. Well, he was last time I went there. I don't see him now though. Yeah, we'll come into land over here in our area. Yeah, note to self, don't try and open the door with a fire rocket in your hand. Anyway, yeah, we'll go back here and we'll place down the shulker boxes there and there. So, there we go. It's going to be a slow process. 
of filtering in all of our bone meal. Because I plan to fill these chests up, so we'll, we'll know we'll have plenty. But yeah, that's going to be a slow process. I'm going to do that off camera. Just because that's probably the best way to do it is off camera. You know. Just, yeah. You know the drill. We're going to fill up this chest, this chest, and this chest with bones. And then we're going to work on the upstairs of the room. So I'm going to come back. Uh, when I've started work on the upstairs and all of that stuff and yeah, that should be some cool stuff done So I'll finish off this downstairs here uh, Do the upstairs and then I'll come back with you with the finished product and who knows what else we'll do this episode So I will see you back when this is done. Okay So I have done the bottom floor and top floor both complete so that means this building is now 100% done so it actually turned out that I did use a few more of these bookshelves that I collected earlier in the episode. I hope you remember that one because that montage was something. But anyway, bam. Bottom floor. We have got a chest with some signs around it with nothing much in it. Uh, some trapdoor shelving, a little more shelves. Hay bales, more trapdoor shelving. Crafting tables, more trapdoor shelving. And that's about it for the bottom floor. So it's not that like detailed. It's just got a few things here and there. I think it's really all it needs though. It's quite nice. And then the upper floor is quite uh, messy and storage like. So the upper floor is kind of like a storage area of just things and stuff. So we've got more, a few more hay bales, bookshelves, crafting tables, a bunk bed. You know, just things littered around the place. And when I find more stuff that I could stick up here like flower pots on top of these and stuff. I'll just come up here and dump things up here. Uh, this is just what I had in my chests. But it kind of gives it a nice effect with the whole looking quite nice thing. We've got, yeah, it's just, it gives it a nice feel that it's storage. And then through this door, it's got more bookshelves. But yeah, it gives the upper floor a nice thing. And we get some nice views out windows and stuff like that. You know, it is what it is. I did what I, what I was uh, planning to do. But yeah, that is this build now pretty much complete. There's not anything else I really need to do with this build. So, yeah, I think that is that is this build completed. And, yeah, I don't really know what else to do with the rest of this episode. We've got a little bit of time left. Uh, Nano is AFK. Fluff's online at the spider farm, I believe. But, yeah, this build, I'm glad. It's, we got it done. It's nice. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. We've got this build done, and it is amazing. I thought this build was actually really quite nice. Uh... Fluff said he really enjoyed this build, like he really enjoyed looking at it, and he was the one who actually told me to build it on the survival server, because I actually built it on the creative server a few months back. So yeah, it's good that now it's actually built, and what is going on with my OBS? Um, yeah, why do I have such a frame drop when I look at this building? Interesting, I'll, I'll have to look at that, but it appears OBS is having issues as well. Rangers now join the server. But yeah. I th yeah. Oh, you need to sort OBS out. Can you see that? Something's something's gone wrong with OBS. But anyway, uh, I'll sort OBS out and I'll come back when it is sorted and when I have a plan of attack for the rest of the episode. Hello everyone, I'm back and I've decided that since Nano has opened his hat shop recently, I think it would be only appropriate if a certain area on the server, naming no names, was to receive a customary hat. I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna say anything more on the matter. You never know, he might not want a hat. Like, you know, but as far as I know, we're going to need a lot more black wool. That's for what? That's for certain. But for two, we're just going to end up building, building a hat. So, yeah, I'll come back with you guys once we have a, once we have a finished project, uh, product. I've got plenty more wool back at my base. But yeah. 
I'll come back with you guys once the hat is complete and I'll show you what that looks like and we'll end off the episode there. So, um, I didn't just build a hat. I I went a bit overboard. So, yeah, I got I got some more resources. I used up a lot of wool and a bit of gold as well. And yeah, we we um yeah, well, mm, Nano is a classy guy. He is one to appreciate true class. And since I'm a classy British male, I thought I'd go all out and make his house as such. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoy your house, Nano. The Indrignic gentleman himself. One thing I do need to do is put some torches on his hat so he doesn't die. Uh, through mob mobs, of course. So yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think Nano will think of this? This little improvement let's say to his to his house I think I think he will like it I think yeah I think he'll like it I do I really do just yeah he's AFK where is he AFK I have to find that out but yeah. There we go. That is that is quite something. And yeah, that is the <laughs> end of today's episode. Uh I hope Nano doesn't retaliate too much, but from down in the valley, like say you would just happen to be coming up from the pier. Oh yeah, well that's just incredible. Yeah, that's really good. I'm happy with that house that turned out. Well, there we go. That is Nano's new house. And I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode. Of course, go check out Nano in the description below as well as all the other SMPDXs. He's got a video out where he did a bit of a tour and built his hat shop. And it was such a good video, I thought I'd reward him by turning his house into a gentleman. There we go. Well... Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!